Shootings in recent months have neighbors in Kent saying the violence has got to stop. And they're calling on city leaders and police to take action. King Vice Natalie Swaby is live with more on what police are doing about it. Natalie. Well, Mark, some of the shootings have happened in and around Springwood Park. So this month, Kent police put in those cameras. It's just one of the ways the department is responding to neighbors who say the violence is out of control. We've got kale, we've got uh, all kinds of lettuce and carrots and tomatoes. Look at my tomato plants. This is typically a peaceful place for Bruce and Sandy Mangus. You can hear the sounds of the water. It's really quite nice. But lately, their backyard oasis has been interrupted by the sound of bullets. We hear bang, 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 bang. That noise came from Springwood Park, just beyond their fence. And that wasn't the only incident. The first two shootings was during the night. Um, it was all caught on somebody's camera, which is on the um, south side of the, um, the park. Surveillance video captured gunfire near the park in April. Shots fired on June 4th. Then two days later, a man was shot in the park. And on July 1st, another shooting. At night, it's kind of scary when you're when you're in bed sleeping, thinking that a stray bullet could come through the wall. At a recent city council meeting, Kent's police chief said they are investigating a group of people. Uh, they have been on a terror, including multiple vehicle thefts, armed robberies, carjacking, um, shootings. Police are increasing patrols, working with neighbors and area businesses, and already seeing some results. This is a serious group, um, so we've identified seven. Four of those seven are currently in custody, and the other three are just a matter of time. In this backyard, they hope so. It's really a shame that, you know, such a nice park can have all this activity going on. Kent's mayor and police chief have met with management at nearby apartments to talk about these safety issues. Also, officers have reached out to business owners and to neighbors to discuss block watch programs. I'm also told that two bike officers will be assigned to patrol this area. Live in Kent, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.